Hey church, it's Natalie. When they asked me if I would do a video, my first thought was, well, I told all my good stories last year. Um, which I guess is kind of true. I've had a lot of instances of, of God really answering prayers in powerful ways. And I told a lot of those last year, so um, refer to last year's video, uh, which I'm sure is still up on YouTube somewhere. Um, but when I really got to thinking about 2020, um, I kind of started thinking about, well, what, you know, has been my connection with God or my ways that I connected with God. And um, the two big ways I, I you know, realized I connect with God in my life in general are the first one through physical gatherings with other Christians, you know, praising, worshiping, praying, all those things. Um, I'm an extrovert. And so I really get like that vibe when I'm around other people. Um, and I really feel that connection to the God and the spirit. And the second way is being outdoors, um, in God's creation and, um, just admiring the beauty of, of everything he's created and just really feeling that with connection with him that way. So in 2020, obviously COVID took away the first way. Um, we couldn't meet together anymore. Um, so I really made it a point to focus on the second and, um, I've, for a long time, I've walked my dogs in the morning, but I really try to be more purposeful about making it a time of prayer and, you know, taking my earbuds and listening to a scripture or sermon or whatever. Um, and really just trying to be purposeful about finding that beauty in nature. Um, I've always been a big photographer too. So I made a point of every morning finding some beautiful thing or interesting thing to take photos of and posting those, um, on social media and with my colleagues at work. Um, and just trying to be purposeful about really, you know, appreciating those things. Um, and went along that way for several months throughout the summer. Um, and then in October, I severely broke my ankle. I tripped and fell and broke my fibula as well as dislocating a bunch of stuff down on my ankle and ripping tendons and all that stuff. Um, I had to have surgery on it once already and I'm looking at a second surgery now. So what that meant was I've, I was in a wheelchair. I was not able to put any weight on it for 10 weeks. I was in a wheelchair. So then my second big mode of connecting with God was taken away. Um, cause I can't go outside anymore. Well, I mean, not without help and now it's a little chilly. Um, but I'm definitely not taking morning walks. Um, since at this point I can only walk with crutches. And so that alone presented a big challenge. Um, along with sort of the personal challenge it provided to me, because if you know me, you know, I'm a very independent type a person, uh, very much go get them. Um, I, you know, once, once I commit to something and I'm going to do it, boy, it's stand out of my way. I'm going to get it done. Um, and in that one instant of me breaking my ankle, that kind of flipped everything on its head of I'm now physically incapable of doing most things for myself. Even the basic things like I can't even get to the bathroom or I couldn't even get to the bathroom without help from my husband. Um, you know, I can't get myself a glass of water or a snack or anything. Um, like I was extremely and still am extremely physically limited in what I'm able to do, um, both for myself and around the house and with the kids and for the kids. And it has been extremely humbling. Um, I will fully admit that even before this, I've always struggled with pride and I've known for a long time that's my struggle and I have worked on it, but this has, has really been a test to that and my ability to be humble and accept things. Um, so that's definitely been a big thing from 2020 and going into 2021, um, as I still probably have several more months before I'm quote unquote back to normal. Um, so I wish I could say that that has, you know, that I have found, you know, 
a great new way to connect and um you know I'm now doing something else um I'm not saying I don't connect with God I certainly do I still pray and I still definitely feel those I'm still lacking in consistency um and finding that um consistent way to connect on a regular basis so I'm still struggling with that still um looking to make that better in 2021 and um but overall God has given me peace throughout a lot of this and I'm hopeful for the future and concentrating on learning the lessons I need to learn um I know there's still going to be more physical pain, but hopefully um, I can really grow from this and um, look forward to both the growth, but also being then able to even better um, share that growth with others going forward and into this year and, and beyond. <laughs>